this scene, okay, so first of all, he, you know, he has her go up to the room and, you know, as usual, he does a lot of stuff sexually to make her feel good. And, you know, she has a great time. And then he goes downstairs and he's playing the piano and it's a very sad song. And she comes down and sees him playing. And, you know, you have this uh, female intuition moment where she says, oh, did you do this? Did you learn to play to please your your new family because he was adopted and he doesn't want to answer, but she knows, oh yeah, okay. Right. Once again, this is showing, oh, I'm special because I can see things about him and have a deeper understanding about him. Now, what's interesting, interesting, anyway, interesting, annoying, I don't know, depending on how you feel about it, is that it's clear that he's sort of in a, in a bad place uh, emotionally at that moment. And instead of her just going along with it, sitting down with him, just being there, she's just pushing him. Oh, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Why won't you let me in? We should be talking. Like normal people? Yeah. Is that so wrong? And I know that most guys have been in this situation where the last thing you want is this the woman that you're with to be badgering you to talk about whatever is going on because maybe you haven't figured it out maybe uh you just don't want to share it with her because it would make you look bad if you told her and anyway so she's pushing him you know oh let's talk about it let's talk about it and 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 then she's She's saying, oh, I want you to open up to me. I want you to tell me about you and what's really going on. And he doesn't want to because he thinks she won't accept it, which is often true. You know, it's very typical that guys, as I mentioned earlier, what guys want is not socially acceptable. And what guys experience and their emotions are not socially acceptable. Or even if they are maybe socially acceptable, they're not very attractive emotions or feelings or thoughts to share. Why do you want to punish me? Anna. Why do you want to hurt me? I would never do anything to you that you couldn't handle. But why do you even want to do anything to me at all, Christian? If I told you, you'd never look at me the same way again. So there is a reason. Tell me. And so guys are reluctant to share that. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I was thinking that, you know, in the earlier scene, she, she, he says, oh, remember your safe words? And she says, yes, they're red and yellow. And at this point, I'm feeling that he really needs a safe word to tell her to back off. <laughs> uh and, uh, you know, uh, and as in the comments, we have a young cub who said that a lot of BDSM people think this scene is pretty ridiculous. And yeah, because this is not really what a BDSM is about at all. So that's the, the movie is supposed, you know, comes across or this book, the story comes across as it being about BDSM, but actually it's not about BDSM at all. It's, it is in the sense that it, it's, it, you know, BDSM is, is a, uh, what would you say? It's, it's, you know, it's kind of a role play type of thing. But in this case, what we have is a real sort of struggle between him and her over control that she's clearly winning. But instead of just gracefully winning, she's sort of beating him over the head with it to sort of make it very clear that she, that he should submit uh, that he should submit to her in the sense that he should submit to the typical relationship pattern instead of trying to get what he wants. And uh, and uh, Kane V in the comments has said that this entire movie is a fantastic advertisement for being single. I think we could argue that most chick flicks are fantastic advertisements for being single. Um, but anyway, uh, that's why. But that's you know that's why they're so fascinating to watch because. This is what what for women is is what what excites women about relationships is what you see in these movies. To help other people find this channel and to help us grow and to make sure you don't miss the next one, like and subscribe down below and we'll see you next time.